Hospitals are struggling to find enough isolation medical gowns. How does the supply of the gowns compare to supplies of other PPE? I, I would say the gowns are definitely the, the shortest supply right now. North Carolina's health department reports ample supplies now of masks, N95 respirators, gloves. But the estimated supply of gowns is zero, with more than 7,000 gowns requested each day. Massachusetts Health Department telling us it has reports of health care facilities unable to procure gowns. We're seeing all sorts of demands. Dr. Val Griffith talked to us on her way to a hospital shift. She co-founded Get Us PPE, a crowdsourced database of requests for protective gear with thousands of unfilled requests for gowns. Griffith says part of the problem is that unlike gloves, hospitals did not need gowns in mass quantities until COVID-19 came along like gowns and respirators and simple surgical masks have really just spiked in terms of their demand. <coughs> but masks and respirators can be used, cleaned, and used again. Many gowns are disposable, designed to be used just once. When you put the gown back on, it's already contaminated. So if you then put it back on improperly, you're going to contaminate yourself. And demand for gowns is increasing as elective procedures unrelated to the virus pick back up. Dentists have said the shortage of gowns may delay their reopenings. Mike Alkire is president of Premier, which works with manufacturers and distributors of PPE. He says there are too few places making the raw material needed for gowns, also used to make masks. The primary um, raw good that makes up a gown is called SMS. That SMS, for the most part, outside of a couple of these domestic manufacturers, is all produced in like five factories, you know, across China and India. As gowns become available, they can be priced out of range for health departments or just impossible to find. People go out and they're going to go over buy all these products, uh, just like what happens at your grocery store. So people are getting creative to fill the gown gap. The Corvallis, Oregon Sewing Brigade is stitching together house wrap. Just double checking to make sure that there are no holes. A young physician assistant created gowns for good, recycling donated graduation gowns by the thousands. Like so many other places, they have more requests for gowns than they can fill. Patrick Terpstra, Newsy, Washington. You could have COVID, and I think you need to consider that and make sure.